Hello everyone, today is Tuesday for Art 2. We're really excited about seeing your progress today. Um, I want you to go ahead and work on um, your next section today, um, which is shape. I want you to try to use your time and try to draw that, get that completed. Um, I do want to see your progress on that, so please make sure you upload your progress on shape. Um, one of the things I want you to think about, and you can look at this um, examples that we show you daily, but um, try to make sure, um, like I said, you use bright colors to represent shape. You want colors that's going to stand out. Um, so you can see the shape section here, but you want your colors, they did wrong colors in this section, but you want your colors to stand out. They did secondary colors here. Um, so think about what colors you're going to use. Use marker and Sharpie for this section. Keep repeating the same image and have it in the same spot, but you're going to use marker um, for this section. Okay, so you should have finished your line section first. Now you're going to go to shape. So I want you to see, I want to see progress on shape. Our artist that I want us to look at and focus on today is um, Paul Klee. But look at this uh, piece right here of shapes. But notice that he did the um, neutral gray in the background. That orange is opposite, so it pops. And then you see some neutral tones in here. Very interesting neutral colors um, that he incorporated in this piece here. Um, interesting work. This is also by Paul Klee. But notice the color scheme. Maybe that's something you want to um, use some of the interesting colors that he has. Geometric shapes in this work of art here by Paul Klee. Um, rectangular shapes, but you notice that there he uses these sort of muted tones in the composition and it kind of creates a element of um, mystery in his work. Um, very interesting textures that are incorporated in the background as well. Focus just on how you could possibly get yours done. Maybe in your shape section, if you want to go outside the box, maybe you're not going to use black to outline your shapes. Maybe you've decided to use white to outline your shapes. So think about what you want to do for that section to make it stand out. Now these are shapes that are outlined in black, but um, remember you are gonna draw your image. So let's say if you're doing an apple, the apple is in the center and colors that are inside the apple will be different from the colors that's outside. Just like you see with this example here. You have an image in the middle, but you still have geometric shapes and colors in the negative space. Um, just want you to see an example of Paul Klee's work. Very interesting artist. Um, don't forget also that today you do need to do your sketches. Make sure you upload your sketches for a grade. Make sure that you um, work on your project every day. So I'm not requiring sketches to post um, daily, but I want them due on Friday because you have to kind of post your progress of you working on this image of this um, poster project. Um, elements of art project daily. So I do want to see an example of that. But please make sure, like you said, if you have any questions, you let me know and I can try to schedule a Zoom meeting with you and I can look at your work one-on-one -on -one and give you positive uh, feedback or uh, constructive criticism, try to help you um, to get your work and make sure that it's better. Um, but don't forget to get your supplies that you need because you are going to work on that and you want to get that completed um, daily. And I do want to see um, significant progress to give you um, a grade and participation grade as well. Please let me know if you have any questions and I'm um, looking forward to seeing you upload your work today. Thank you.